Good morning, day number six. Uh, this is where we start out each morning. We do have lake view. You can see it right there. That's the lake. It's pretty. Uh, our little cabin right here where uh, we lay our heads to rest each night after editing videos late into the morning. What a dream trip. Woodworking, big water, and video editing into the night. What a deal. Um, the other thing about this, hey, that's the rock right there. That's the Grand Marais Rock Shop where the cabin rentals happen. Best part about this little place is just down the road over there is the Wonderlust Bar. I'm going to drop a little video in right now from Friday night at uh, the Wonderlust. <laughs> Yeah, see what I mean? That was awesome. Uh, the North Shore Swing Band was playing, so we had fun. Um, if we were actually hanging out here in the day, we'd either be riding our bikes or sitting in the rocking chairs. Um, but it is time to load up and get down to North House and uh, get going in the shop. So yes, we are in uh, the room next to the timber frame room. The milling room. The milling room. This is where, uh, for the four previous days, a group was working on caning chairs. So I'm gonna drop a little video of caning chairs in here when they finished up yesterday. I was taking pictures and I said, you know, I didn't have any pictures of you guys smiling. We were really <laughs> concentrating. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. The classroom next to ours, chair canning. And this is a four day class. And they're on the fourth day. Fourth day finishing yeah. up? Uh huh. Wow. It's mostly. Mostly. It's four days of intensive weaving. Beautiful. But we were greeted today. No girts for you. No girts for you. Yeah. So. We've been sent to the back room to work on knee braces mm -hmm. and um, rafters. rafters. No girts for you. So we have a rafter layout. We're going to plow through those <laughs> and plow through the knee braces. So it's going to be an enjoyable video of us in here all day drawing, maybe cutting. So this is their famous donut, the maple bacon. Oh. It's just like large bacon, but I miss a lot of bacon. Maple bacon. Long John's. World's best bakery. Right here in Grand Marais. There we go. That's simple. Yeah, I'm going to move behind my pegs, and that's the peg relish, and that's the weak point in a lot of traditional joinery. And, um, you know, it's basically the strength parallel to the grain uh, from the peg to the end of the tenon. If, if, if that's all I can get, then um, uh, uh, it's pretty weak, and that's where you actually see a lot of failures. Uh, and that's where you see a lot of transitions, too. So, 
you know, maybe when they connect walls together, they have a, a nailer up and a, and a through tenant here and a through tenant here so they would alleviate that. Well, the Asian tradition, and they obviously in Japan and Korea and had a lot more seismic activity maybe, and so the R&D uh, uh, was a little better. You can imagine now the strength of two tenants that are four inches versus that, mm -hmm. and that is like exponentially stronger. Yeah. And you know, you could, um, so it's a great way to go. Uh, I mean, you use quite a bit of, uh, quite a few splines. And on a bottom spline, we usually have some kind of a reveal. In this case, it's revealed down quite a bit. Um, on a top spline, we'll also often, you know, a lot of times there's a floor sitting on it, right? We we'll use a chunk of LDL. Or, or, you know, I used to glue together splines out of fiber, but now I'll just use that way in your moment, it's strong. Right when you see the split. It's basically colonial America. We came up with this idea of square rule timber framing. Uh, in Europe, they scribed everything. Even if it was you know, even perfectly square hewn sawn timbers, they'd still bring all the timbers together. Bottom member does lend a little bit of strength to that top one. It's not a good parallel cord for us. Look close. And it just looks cool. It's very well braced. Right, it is time for lunch. Um, as you already know, because we've commented on it, there were no girts today, but what we did do is we started in on our knee braces. That was what we got cut out this morning. Uh, and then uh, Tom took us on a little bit of a tour. So we went over to the Black Smith shop to the Grindyberg, Grindy Big, I don't know how to say that. I think I have Norwegian in me, but that doesn't mean I know how to speak it. We looked at the structure over the pizza oven right there which was kind of cool and then we also took a look at the fish house which was also a pure timber frame that's the fish house and of course then we're in the red building right there um, time for lunch Ben's already enjoying overcast beautiful high of 63 I think which is right now which is why I can wear a long sleeve cool uh, shirt this one's an antique white fish, black star, maybe, you know.
so nice and sharp, we do a chisel drop. No, don't drop do your chisel. Boom, day six is in the books. Bam! I think we thought it was going to be an easy day. It wasn't? Yeah. Why? <laughs> And if anybody gives me a hard time about my two chair saw method. That's a pretty, that's a smarter not harder move. There it is. That's wisdom. Mm -hmm. That comes with old age. That definitely comes with old age. Having to sit down. <laughs> well, I was going <laughs> to slug my work right around. So, make sure you've seen it already. Ben knocked all of our knee braces out. Knee braces are done. Boom. Doors. The Rafter Master Blaster. Ooh, all are done. And did we ever see the Tom finally delivered our girts. The girts are here. That means all of our timber is now in the shop. We just have to lay out six mortises or six tenons and nine mortises blow through those tomorrow, our building's done. Woo! Woo! Something like that. Love yeah. it. Every girt is sacred. Every girt is great. If a girt gets wasted, Tom gets quite irate. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Day seven. <laughs> Yeah, you. Hmm? Get a tattoo of that. <laughs>